My brothers and sisters in Christ, as always, I hope this midweek message finds you and your families happy, healthy, holy, and wise as we've passed our midpoint of the Easter season. Elsewhere in the world on Sunday, Pope Francis concluded his three-day apostolic trip to Hungary, where he met not only with local leaders, of course, as always, uh, met with those on the margins, uh, uh, victims of crimes against them and the like, but also spoke a lot about the need for an end to war in Ukraine, about opportunities to find peace uh, with all leaders. And so he continued to talk about his great desire for, for peace uh, in Eastern Europe. Here closer to home, we are preparing tonight to celebrate the conclusion to what has been a 175th anniversary year-long celebration. What started this time last year at St. Mary's uh, Cathedral Basilica in Galveston concludes tonight at the Co-Cathedral of the Sacred Heart as the Archdiocese celebrates 175 years. And so there'll be representatives from parishes all over the archdiocese uh, to celebrate this special mass with Cardinal Donardo as we look in gratitude uh, for these 175 years. And I invite you to check out my bulletin letter this weekend where I reflect on this as well as other milestones and the opportunity that milestones give us uh, for reflection on who we are and for gra in gratitude for God's gifts to us. A reminder to be sure, if you haven't already, to, to put in your pre-order for crawfish that the Vietnamese community is selling. The pickup is this weekend on Sunday. You can get your, you can order your crawfish for $8 per pound uh, for, for pre-order. So again, the pickup is this weekend. Uh, be sure to get in on it now if you haven't already. This Friday also again will be our first Friday celebration with Mass at 6.30 p.m. celebrated by Father Stephen, who will afterwards be giving the, the dinner uh, presentation on the Blessed Virgin Mary. Who is she? Why is she so important to us as we get into this month traditionally devoted to the Blessed Virgin Mary? Then on Saturday evening at the 5 p.m. Mass, we'll have First Communions as we continue to celebrate the Easter sacraments. Our young people have been preparing to receive their First Holy Communion. We'll have this beautiful day for their first of hopefully a lifetime uh, of receiving Jesus and the Most Blessed Sacrament. And so we, uh, I ask that you pray for our young people in advance that their hearts may be prepared to receive the gift that the Lord Jesus wants to share with them. Continuing the theme of the month of Mary on Sunday at 3 p.m. we'll have a special mass with the Legion of Mary from across the archdiocese. Bishop Italo will be here for the annual May crowning mass. And so as everyone devoted through the Legion of Mary will gather, we'll have the, the traditional blessing and the, the, the crowning of the, the statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And so all are invited to join us 3 p.m. this Sunday in the church. And for more details on this, all the other Marian devotions of May, and just for liturgical living throughout the month of May, as always, you're invited to check out the resources online in the liturgical living section of the bulletin and the, the special mass handout to read more about this, as well as uh, things you may not have known before about the great Paschal candle that stands so prominently during the Easter season. Also, a reminder that we're collecting our items for our May food drive, so please be sure to, to bring back the, the items uh, that are on the, the cards, the checklist for this month. Uh, you can bring those and drop them back at, at the church as we get ready for the May, May food distribution. These are just a handful of things going on. It never stops around here, especially during the Easter season. And so we continue to pray for one another and pray especially for those who already have or are about to receive the sacraments in this Easter season, that the joy of the resurrection may dawn in their hearts in a beautiful, mysterious way. O sacred heart of Jesus, we place all our trust in you. Amen.